In this work, we present Transflower, a probabilistic autoregressive model for generating diverse and realistic dance to any piece of music. To tackle the problem of dance generation, we present a new architecture and a new dataset. We model dance autoregressively, which means that we predict the pose at time t as a function of the previous poses and the music context. The Transflower architecture has two key ideas. One, we model a probability distribution over next post predictions using a normalizing flow. And two, we condition the normalizing flow predictions on the previous poses and the music context using a full attention cross-model transformer encoder. We find that both of these features are important to generate convincing dance motions. Here we compare our results with dances generated with Moglo, a model that uses autoregressive normalizing flows but encodes the context using an LSTM. We observe that, without attention, the model doesn't capture more complex dance movements. Here we compared Transflower with the deterministic transformer architecture from AI Choreographer. We see that the deterministic model fails at producing realistic dances with increased foot sliding and less realistic poses. To generate highly diverse dance movements and to improve generalization to new songs outside the training data, we extend currently available datasets with three new datasets of 3D dance movement. First, we recorded a 3.8 hours dataset including casual dancers and a professional dancer, recorded with a professional mocap system. Second, we obtained over 10 hours from dancers dancing in the VR platform VRChat, using a motion encoding shader to perform remote motion capture. Third, we recorded 50 minutes of a specific Greek dance style, Cretan Certos, using an Xsense mocap system. In total, we extend the size of existing comparable datasets by a factor of 4. We experimented with different methods to affect the quality and style of the dance. We find that changing the initial motion seed of the autoregressive process affects the style of the dance, an effect we call motion prompting. Finally, we find that fine-tuning on the higher quality components of our dataset increases the quality of the generated motions at a cost of a moderate decrease in diversity. We now show some longer examples generated with our model. Here we show our generated dancers driving a character inside a virtual reality game, Neos VR. Thank you for watching.